Fadi Aboud, Minister for Tourism in the Lebanon. Good morning and thank you for joining Breaking Travel News. We're here at World Travel Market 2013. Um, Lebanon's been in the headlines recently. Um, perhaps you'd like to tell us what the situation is like on the ground there. Listen, probably the biggest problem I face is to convince the people that the security issues in Lebanon are gravely exaggerated. In all honesty, you know, numbers are louder than words. If I want to compare Lebanon to, to, to the UK, to, to London, I promise you that there are much more trouble in London than there is in, in, in Beirut. So it is difficult to convince the people that uh, Beirut is not Damascus. The security, yes, we have our problems, but our, our problems in comparison are nothing to talk about. You know, maybe you have a car stolen a week, every week in, uh, in Lebanon, whereas you have, I don't know, a few hundred cars sold every single day in the UK. Uh, again, you know, uh, with the problems with firearms, I promise you that in the United States of America there are much more problems per capita, you know, uh, in comparison to Lebanon. So, my problem is to convince the world that, no, Beirut is a destination where you can feel safe. Uh, now, if we uh, want to compare the first nine months of the year, last year, for the first time since the 70s, we have more Europeans coming to Lebanon than Arabs. So this could, you know, tell you uh, the whole story, really. And um, what are you doing to counteract the message? Are you out spending more on advertising? Are you talking to more people at trade shows like this? How are you trying to get a positive message out there? In actual fact, we think the best method is uh, to invite journalists to come to Lebanon. So we are organizing every single week we have a fam trip because it's all different when you come and see for yourself, then you can say the truth. Uh, so now we're inviting journalists from all over the world to come spend a few days with us in Lebanon and see for themselves. And Beirut's obviously a very established destination over the last decade. But what else can you do in Lebanon? Perhaps you'd like to tell our viewers a little bit more about what's on offer in the rest of the country. Yes, you know, it's very important uh, not to look at Lebanon just, you know, by looking at uh, the capital, uh, Beirut. Uh, hiking is beautiful. It's the only country in the world where, you know, in a few weeks you can ski on snow and then be on the Mediterranean in half an hour. So this is unique in Lebanon. The skiing is, is beautiful and the upper ski is even more beautiful. Uh, gastronomy, the food, you know, uh, specifically we're talking to the, to the English public and they know Lebanese uh, food quite well. So uh, it's worth visiting Lebanon just for the cuisine, which is a few thousand years old. And this so-called Mediterranean cuisine, you're going to the home of Mediterranean cuisine. Uh, that is where it all started in, uh, in Lebanon. And I would like people to know that Jesus Christ was not drinking Bordeaux. He was drinking wines of Lebanon. So, you know, we have a lot uh, to offer. When it comes again, you know, to Christianity and Islam, probably this is the only country where you would see the church stuck to the mosque. And, you know, Christians going to the mosque and vice versa. So this is a, a very important message for the rest of the world that, you know, we had our problems, but we live in harmony. Christians and Muslims, we live together in harmony. And this is, again, important. And when it comes to, to, to the Roman Empire and the Roman ruins, the greatest Roman temple is Baalbek. And this is something to see. And how many people remember where the alphabet came from? The alphabet came from Biblos. And this is, uh, you know, very, very important because uh, history started there where, where the, you know, we gave the alphabet to the rest of the world. Well, it's uh, quite a lot of attractions to see. Hopefully we'll be able to come out in the next few months and, uh, and take a look for ourselves. Thank you for joining us today. You're always welcome and specifically, you know, uh, you know for people who do not know, I'm, I'm, I'm the British minister in the Lebanese government. So, you know, we're always working hard for more bits to come and visit my country. Thank you very much. Thank you.